What's up everybody, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another exploration. We're back in America and we are in one heck of a time capsule today. This place has quite a strange story to it, that's to say the least. So the people that lived here, they were Republicans, hardcore Republicans, they worked in the oil industry. They were farmers out on this farmland out here. And a weird thing about it is they had a daughter who was really into satanic rituals and there is some stuff around this house that shows signs of that but everything is left here i'm not too sure why they left uh, i'll try to figure that out but this place is a legit one of the best time capsules we've seen in america here in the south it's hidden deep in the woods you can't even see it until you get up to the front porch it's that hidden but as you can tell, everything is here. We're about to explore this place, so hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. The rumors behind this abandoned house are nothing but terrifying. In the 1980s, a family of six lived in this beautiful house on the back roads in a rural town in the south. The husband was in the oil business while his wife stayed at home to care for the kids. Seems like your typical family story, right? But one of the daughters was very hateful towards her family. She was very rebellious, and she even was a satanic worshiper. And one chilling night, she attempted to kill her family by stabbing them. Apparently, her little brother wasn't as lucky as the rest of the family. They heard the commotion and put a stop to it before anyone else could get hurt but her little brother ended up losing his life, and she was thrown into a mental institution for the rest of her life. But right around this time, the oil industry was going through a crisis, and many people, including the husband, were laid off. I can imagine the thought of staying in that house was too much for them to handle, on top of losing your job to be able to provide for your family. So today, we're going to see what's left. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna start you guys off upstairs. This place has quite some weird things in it. Um, we saw something really strange at the staircase when we came in, really unsettling stuff. Upside down crosses are throughout this place. So we're gonna take a look at this, but here we're, we're in the first room that you saw the intro at, and we're gonna just start right here, work our way around the, the upstairs, and we're gonna go downstairs and check it out. This place is full of antiques. And I just uh, can't wait to show you guys this. Back in America, this is the first explore after the big French trip. This place is pretty wild, so let's check it out. All right, so the first bedroom we're in, you can see the bed is here, the red bed frame around it, and this eagle that is on the, the comforter. Maybe there's some water stains or something right there, but I do believe there is blood stains on some of these beds. Check out all the decor is still here. It's like a matador, the bowl, like the lamp is still here. You have stained glass on the window to outside. This looks like another matador and a woman. And if you can kind of look out there, there's like a whole balcony with furniture and everything. But this room is a legit time capsule. Look at the couch that's in here. This is just the first room we're in. It's got this red shag carpet from like the 70s. Mm. Look at the cobwebs. It's hard to put a date on when this place was abandoned too. Look at this. That is really cool. And this is one of those southern houses that has a fireplace in every room. So during the winter, each room could heat up themselves. But this house is so old and so rotting on the outside, but the inside is just left like this. Pretty crazy to see. 
This room also has its own bathroom, carpeted bathroom at that, with the red shag carpet again. Clawfoot tub. It's like really clean in here for how the outside looks. It's a bunch of seashells. There's no telling what's in these drawers. Looks like rats. But it's crazy to see that this is just the first room that we're walking into. And how well preserved it is. It's hard to put a date on when this place was abandoned because everything is kind of older here, but it looks like, like there's not even a driveway to this place. And it's so overgrown. You had to go through thorns and thorns just to get to the front door. So it's hard to even tell why it's like this or when it was left like this. We're gonna try to figure it out. I have a hallway here. comes down to the staircase. Beautiful woodwork on the staircase. But we're not gonna go down there yet. We're gonna keep looking at what's left up here. This door's locked see this old furniture just aligning the hallways the paintings look at this I think believe this is an old stove just sitting here of course there's some beautiful paintings let's walk around to this side here's your secondary staircase I want you guys to just take a look the cobwebs and then the details that are like all along this like very very well made hand carved stuff here look at this this is like a little bedroom and it's got like a just a bed sitting in here these curtains up. I wonder why this one is so small compared to the others. And there's weird stains on the bed. They're dried brown, so it's like kind of unsettling there. This is crazy, guys. weird to see everything left like this. Drawers are like so old and haven't been opened so long that you can't even open them. They're just stuck. So here we have a room that was, looks like it was meant for siblings. You got two little twin beds here. Both got the orange and we got the yellow shag carpet on the ground. Check it out. And there's still these stains on the bed. And you'll see what I mean by how off-putting that is whenever we go downstairs. But even a room upstairs has some pretty crazy stuff. This is just phenomenal. Wire brush, sandpaper. And a rope. There's a rope to be in here. This is just full of like quilts and stuff. 
It's just blowing my mind that this is so hidden deep in the woods and it's just like this on the inside. Look, there's an old sink in here. Looks like we have another bathroom right back here. Yeah, we got the black. It looks like an iron tub right there. I see some paint and stuff, so maybe they were gonna renovate this at one point. Maybe never got around to it. I just noticed right on top of this is an old baby carriage. Looks like it's like a basket. I wonder if there's anything left in this. Oh my, yeah, it's a lot of pillows, blankets and whatnot. Now we come into this room. This is a pink room, but this room is the one that's pretty unsettling. So this was the girl's room. And as you can tell right here, we have upside down crosses on the walls right there. That's pretty unsettling. Knowing that that's in here. And not only that. Look at this baby doll. If that isn't the creepiest baby doll you've ever seen. I don't know what is. It's almost just like waiting for it to move or something. But this is the satanic room of the house. There's nice furniture in here. I mean, look at the headboard. This bed frame is really, really neat. Nice woodwork. But the fact that those upside down crosses are here and this baby doll just makes it so weird. You can tell they had a thing for like matadors and kind of really like Spain themed stuff. And I love this lamp over here in the corner. It's like a pole that just goes from floor to ceiling and there's multiple lights on it. But that doll, oh my goodness. That is one of the creepiest dolls I've ever seen. I mean, look at what else is in this room. Little trinkets, little glass trinkets, different animals. Got some linens and whatnot. And this is the closet for this bedroom. But why is there like preservatives in here? It's all black. You can't even tell what it is. It's real creepy. The cobwebs are all in here. Even right here. Look at this. give you a weird feeling this room power doesn't seem to be working look at mother nature taking over the vines growing in here on both sides love this painting right here See, I love art, guys, but you guys know that. I say it every time. But this is definitely the most unsettling room so far. It's just all pink in here. And then you have these random upside down crosses and a super creepy baby doll. Like, <sighs> I'm a little bit scared in this room. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next. 
so I'm not sure if this was a, used as a bedroom, but it's all blue in here. It might have been, but it looks like it might have been cleared out of some stuff. Some mattress laying on the floor here. Look at this old vintage fan here, Arctic Air. I've heard of that before. You got the nice fireplace, a very nice mantle on it. it. Looks like there was a painting hanging up there at one point. Let's see if there's anything in these drawers. Let's see if they're like stuck, they won't even open. And see, this room has the same thing over here this pole like lamp here so maybe this was a boy's bedroom at one point but they kind of cleared it out which is crazy compared to every other room all these clothes are folded up here the clothes definitely look a little older and this is a super creepy painting right here. Look at that. It's got black eyes. 1962 is when this painting was made. That's really creepy with the black eyes. Not much else to see in this room, so we're gonna move on. Oh my gosh, actually, guys, there's another one. Of these black-eyed children in the seascape. All right, everyone, now it's time to enter the master bedroom of this place. And I'm looking at it already, it looks pretty stunning. This house is full of secrets and it almost feels like a murder took place here because there's so many like blood stains on the beds, but I feel like it's not enough blood to be like a full on murder. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it'd be a lot more. Right here, we're in the master bedroom and I'm ready to show you. Here is our bed. Check that out. It's only a queen size mattress, but you know, maybe some people don't really need any bigger than that. For me, being six foot seven, I definitely need a king size. There's just like really neat little knickknacks throughout the place. This elephant here, this guitar and this violin. Like the decor is pretty neat. And then, I mean, the bed itself, it's still made, perfectly made, but you can tell it hasn't been used in a long time. There's like roaches and rat crap everywhere, even bat poo everywhere. Here's the fireplace for this one. Kind of the same mantle that's in the other room next to me. Look at the cobwebs that are on it. Tell it's just been sitting here for so long. Check that out. Here's some gin. And look at this old style TV that we have in here. A really old one. I love seeing TVs like this in places this couch that actually matches the bed frame. So you can see the top there is the same pattern as it is on this couch. So you can tell they got like a deal on this. Actually, it matches the curtains too. So this is definitely reminding me of France in a way. But look at all their clothes are still folded up here. You got old trousers. Look at this painting here. It really sets a scene. It's really cool. Nice old chair. This is like a chair I'd see in like an office normally. And this is like their dresser. Right here. But there's nothing in the drawer, so maybe it was taken out at some point. But this house is wild. With all this stuff still here. Even another one of those holes with the lamps on them. Back here we have a little nook. 
leaving the master where we have some just chairs another stained glass window to go outside to the balcony looks like these are porcelain top tables right here so this might have been a bathroom at one point there's a sink back there What do you think, Justin? How about this place? Yeah, this is Justin's second time here, and it's still creepy, isn't it? Most definitely. <laughs> it's really quiet. Man. It's just like, yeah, it's super quiet out here in the middle of the woods. Like, when I say you can't see it until you're here, you literally can't. Like, I don't think anybody's been here in years. It's just sad, honestly. But I think we've seen all of upstairs. Let's take a look again. downstairs there's about to be something really weird at the bottom of the staircase so you're gonna want to stay tuned for this it's a really scary type of letter and it honestly when I saw it walking in I was like what the heck and Justin didn't even see it last time nope. that's weird man so let's go down and check it out and if you're new and you're enjoying this video hit that subscribe button and check out my friend here everything is down in the description but let's go downstairs now Look at the staircase, it's so beautiful. It's so well preserved. Even like right here. The doorway, beautiful doorway. This is your front entrance right here. But yeah, this staircase is beautiful. Check that out. Not really what you'd expect looking at it from the outside. And this is what's really weird. It says, Kaylee, I love you, mom. I love you more. Kaylee, there is now a game between this. That's really weird. It's really strange. But this is your front entrance. This is your foyer right here. And we have beautiful furniture here. But you can tell it's kind of been uh, used as storage for some stuff. Just check out the details that are in the staircase. Now what we have right here is our living room, our main living room. And you can tell it's just full of amazing furniture down here. Like, how is this left abandoned? Check that out. A red sofa. These wreaths on the on the walls. There's even a sofa that's under this. And there's a really nice Victorian couch right there, as you can see. But it's so cluttered in here, I can't really walk around. You got the nice mantle fireplace. Look at the windows. This place is gorgeous. If only we could see what it actually looks like. <laughs> You hungry? Dude, this is my size stuff right here. Can whip us up something in the kitchen right quick. <laughs> well, we have all this furniture throughout. I tried to open this, but the doorknob is like... Oh, actually... What? How'd you do that? I just turned it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just some jar. It smells like chemicals in there. Let me close that door. All right, let's go down the hallway. And you can see... It's weird because this door's taller than this door. But there's just kind of random stuff throughout the place. Let's see what year this is. It's from 1993. Great Smoky Mountains, Lucky Penny. So it looks like this might be another bedroom. But it's just loaded with stuff. Look at the carpet as we walk in. Can maneuver our way a little bit, but there is a bed here. Oh my goodness. The headboard is gorgeous. Look at that. 
come into our bathroom back here. And this looks like a funeral bouquets. So maybe there was a funeral at some point. There's a calendar from 1981. So I wonder if that's around the time this place went abandoned. It feels like it was probably in, abandoned in the 90s at some point. You can tell this room is something special. This little toy boat here. typewriter it's like brand new <laughs> it's like a little mini closet there wouldn't surprise me if there's guns in this place but obviously we can't get over there we're gonna go across the hall into another living space of some sort maybe this was even a dining room actually I think this is what this was it was a dining room my grandparents used to have a carpet just like this Just crazy, all this stuff left in here. Talk about a time capsule. This place is such a grand home for being out here in the middle of the woods. Keep on moving back. This is like all wood paneling in this, this side. You got your water heater here. Look at this giant chest. There's a cardio machine. That doesn't look too old. Probably late 90s, early 2000s. There's another pretty nice little room. We have some old records here. The Sting, Scott Joplin. Gordon Jenkins' Hawaiian wedding song. Glenn Campbell. And the cabinetry that's built in is just amazing. Look at this mantle here, it's like an orange mantle. All hand carved wood. I love the paintings, I love the decor that's hanging up. Look at this, this is like a ship. But this is amazing. And this lamp over here is one of those touch lamps. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but you touch it on the side and it turns the light on. I used to have one. Here's more of these giant fork and spoons. It's just crazy to see all the stuff that's left behind. Let's go across to the back. And back here, it looks like we have a huge freezer and a kitchen. Oh wow, this kitchen is fantastic. It's like a seafoam green. Look at the old microwave here. It's called Chateau Magic Chef. Come on, open up, sticky. Got the old stove. Check out these chairs. This is where they would eat breakfast. This is a little breakfast table here. Mount stopper for people who can't keep it shut. The floor is really soft right here. But look at this. It's called a roper. It's a really old stove. Looks like they might have, they're gonna have an estate sale or something. These giant shears here. <laughs> These are massive. You guys know we gotta check the fridge, so let's go check it. I'm kinda scared. Uh, 
it's done some things in it, but it's not crazy. It's like water jugs. Yeah. Oh, it stinks though. God. Yeah, look at this old. It's called making love. <laughs> Let's just get a look at this kitchen one more time. You got like the sea foam green around the ceiling and the walls. This like funky green and yellow tiling throughout. And something I just noticed, look at this. This is an old phone. <laughs> That's super cool. Wow. Dude, I love seeing this. And this table is actually made out of a barrel, a wine barrel. Check that out. And so are these chairs. Dang. But this is one beautiful kitchen. Guys, it looks like we explored the entire house. And it's safe to say this place was very amazing, but very creepy at the same time. Me and Justin are going to make our way out of this place, through the woods, and back to safety. And we're going to go get some food and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like down below. Comment your favorite part of this place. Check out my friend Justin. You guys have seen him before on a few other videos. He went to Italy with us. And uh, you can check him out in the description. Guys, without further ado, we're going to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is the start to the American series again. So, till next time, Big Banks out.